All right, Don, you know what we're doing today? I have no idea. Have you seen those spit take videos? People watch a funny video with their mouth full of water and whoever cracks spits up the water? Yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. All right, well, we're doing that, but I wanna up the ante a little bit. If you spit out the water, you have to shock yourself. And first to three shocks is the loser. Wow. Why do you like bringing out this fly zapper all the time? Well, you bought it for me for Christmas. I, I regret. I don't have flies, so. I regret this gift now. <laughs> so we use it on ourselves. <laughs> okay, it makes sense. Have you never opened one of these? Oh, this is embarrassing. No. I'm gonna let this play out for a little bit. I have no idea. Did you not just watch me? No, I didn't watch you. Good. Good. It, are you telling me that if you were in the desert and you found one of these bottles, you would break it? Die of dehydration. No, I have to break it. I have to find a rock and just break the top off. Oh, look at that. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Now it's sealed. Now it's open. Hey, we found him something new, folks. Love, love to see it. Did you clear your nose? Did you clear your nose first? <laughs> What happens if you spit it out before the video? <laughs> uh, we haven't talked about that. We haven't discussed it. Okay. Okay. I just swallowed my water. <laughs> <laughs> my jaw's broken in four places. I have a hiatal hernia. I have bipolar and schizophrenia. So, and I'm also studying for the bar exam right now. Second degree black belt in jiu-jitsu. I go to <laughs> world star hip hop every day. And uh, I got my real estate license. Dude, I got two him. restraining orders. I'm, I'm two for two. I believe in God and I go to church. I was a raccoon stuck in somebody's house. <laughs> I didn't even make it a full minute. I understand these interviews are cut all throughout the random other interviews. But I've never used that expression once. That <laughs> you're a raccoon trapped in I someone's house. I was a raccoon house. trapped in someone's house. No, that's never happened to me. All right, Dalton, you know the consequence. Ah! Oh! Fuck. That was so alarming. Oh. I never want to laugh again. I never want to laugh again. <laughs> I'm scared shitless now. All right, so that's one point for me. Or one point for you, I guess. <sighs> Round two. You gotta clear those nostrils, man. I was having trouble breathing. I'm a piehead. I'm an advocate for weed and two years sober. All I take is Seroquel, uh, just like a mood stabilizer, like a big ass cup of like vodka, tequila, wild turkey, and then I take gabapentin, the oxycodone, the opiates, fish oil, from Xanax, and uh, hydroxyzine because it helps with preparing my brain. I'm off now though. I got myself back on it about two weeks ago. <laughs> you know, obviously I was taking Xanax too, but I wasn't mixing them together ever because I would never do that. No, I was mixing it with Xans and everything, yeah. I'm a huffing duster, because I was huffing duster and smoking crack. So, guess what's happening? I'm quitting smoking weed. Do you do coke? <laughs> no, I'm, sorry. I'm saying, when's the last time you do coke? <laughs> do you do coke? I mean, when's the last time you did coke? quicker than what I went through. <laughs> you just gotta get it over with like a band-aid, man. Really? Yours was so dramatic. That's I know. That's why you really made it over dramatic. <laughs> All right, one to one. <sighs> Round three. We're not even halfway through this damn video. I know, this is kind of, this is kind of a lunatic. <laughs> I do over 250 shows a year, and then I got 200 booked for next year. Uh, top 40, two songs, and top 40 radio at the same time. I've been making beats for 13 years. I also um, did private tutoring for six years. I own a house. I don't even need a face tat. I have a face tat. <laughs> oh I don't need a face tat. I got a face tat. <laughs> All right, you know the rules. Oh, <laughs> that was so bright. I felt that one. 
Round four. I've been in over a thousand blogs in like the last three days. Blogs, they are body shaming me every day. That's what got you. That is inappropriate to laugh at. Oh my god. <laughs> I should not have laughed at that. <laughs> of all the stuff, it's his mental breakdown that gets you. That's what, that's what really. Yeah, no, really, I, I deserve this. Deserve I absolutely shot. deserve this. I want to frame it well. Ah, fuck! <laughs> you know, the snap scares me more than the pain, for sure. It really is an adrenaline rush. All right. This video actually is gonna be a lot quicker than I thought. It's two to two right now. Winner take all. We're moving from Aaron Carter, Carter to Charlie Sheen. Not too far of a step, I don't think. I think this is just an older version. <laughs> you think this is actually Aaron, Aaron Carter. Carter in 20 years? Give, yeah, give Aaron a few years and he'll be talking just like this guy right here. All right. Try not to laugh. Are there any drugs in this house? If there Put are, that down for a second. if there are, you better find them and give them to me immediately. <laughs> Ooh, drugs in the house. Oh, wrong in time. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I, I, I am on a drug. It's called Charlie Sheen. Um, <laughs> it, uh, it's not available because if you try it once, you will die. Your face will melt off and your children will weep over your exploded body. Uh, I am on a drug. It's called Charlie Sheen. <laughs> That is an awesome statement. I definitely don't want to try that drug. Is that on a t-shirt somewhere? Because that, <laughs> that is a shirt I want to be wearing. <laughs> oh my god. Well, Everybody's, he he's going to have to invent his own drug now and call it the Charlie Sheen. I guarantee he's got something. He's probably already got a concoction yeah. already made Just up. Bleach and floor cleaner. <laughs> Are there drugs in this house? If you find it, give it to me. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a true druggy thing to say. <laughs> All right, last one. Let's not lose any fingers today, people. <sighs> yeah, two because you lost the competition. <clears throat> I'm like, I feel like I'm a sucker for pain. I was like, oh, that didn't hurt enough. <laughs> All right, well, I'm the winner. The ultimate winner. I'm gonna take that loss, man. I can't stand Charlie <laughs> Sheen, dude. He's, that guy is cuckoo for You looked Cocoa insane Pops, in that interview. All right, everybody, thank you for watching. Uh, stay tuned for part two, where the consequence is we shove our dicks in this. What does that mean, you're wondering? Whatever, it's just a joke. People take everything so literally.